Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Poultry Farm Guide, where we give helpful information and guide on organic poultry farming and poultry farming in general. So on today's video, I'll be discussing with you three important herbs and how you can use these herbs or spices to improve performance in your poultry farm, increase broiler weight gain, increase egg quality, cure and prevent some specific diseases, and most importantly, improve the taste of your chicken. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. Welcome back, as I said earlier, we shall be discussing how to use three important halves in our poultry farm. The first one we have here is thyme. Thyme is one of the most used herbs in our home. Prepare our meat, it enhances the flavor and taste of our meal. It can also be used in livestock to increase performance. The search has shown that uh, thyme can cure diseases, some digestive diseases in poultry or in chickens, thereby improving nutrient absorption which we invariably increase the weight of the chicken, especially in broilers. Secondly, it can also be used as a repellent, incense repellent. It can drive away parasites like mites, lice, etc. in chicken, thereby improving their comfortability. Then it can also be used as a stress reducer. Being an aromatic spice or herbs, it has this sweet smell which has this calming effect in chicken. So putting it around your pen can give a calm effect to your chicken and reduce stress in chickens during hot weathers. Okay? Now it can also serve as obviously as a flavor enhancer. Putting thyme meal or oil extract in your chicken diet or feed can infuse this flavor in your chicken meat when compared to synthetic raised chickens okay so it serves as a natural enhancer taste enhancer in your chicken now including this time in your chicken diet or giving it to your chicken care must be taken you should not exceed 10 percent so 10 percent of your diet can serve as time meal you can miss 10 percent of this time meal or powder to your chicken. You can allow the chicken to move around your pen, around the compound where you have these plants or herbs in your garden to feed on, but the time should be limited, okay? So that so much of this might cause upset in your chickens. So it should not exceed 10%. Now, the second one we have on our list is the parsley. Parsley has some features in common with a basi, which is scent leaf. So they are interchangeably used, okay? Now, parsley is um, another aromatic, parsley is another aromatic spice which have good flavor and taste as well. Enhances the meal, the taste of our chicken as well. But one thing is different. Parsley can, is not palatable when they are being fed fresh and they freshly to chickens. When they leave, the chicken don't find it palatable to feed on freshly prepared parsley leaf or meal for parsley leaf so you can just slide this and dry it and grind it and mix it with the feed or you can extract the oil and use it in water okay parsley has a the seed also is not given to chicken because it can be proven that the parsley seed is toxic to chicken instead give your chicken the leaves and the stem only it serves as a natural Antibiotics, it contains vitamin C, contains some um, vitamin C and fiber. It contains vitamin A, which enhances the size of the chicken. It improves uh, bone health. It helps to cure some digestive diseases when included between 30 to 40 percent of parsley meal powder to your chicken feed. Then the other one, which is one of the most researched, have is the oregano. Oregano is one of the most used herbs among poultry farmers, especially backyard poultry farmers. Oregano, it can easily be grown from seed compared to others. Oregano can also do it in container or bag. You can just put the seed and nurture it in a container or bag and put it beside your balcony or window. You can also do it there. Therefore, you can 
pluck from there and feed to your chickens does not it's not difficult to cultivate okay now reports have shown that oregano oil is being used by commercial poultry farmers in their chickens now oregano has can also be served can also serve as a natural growth promoter it can also serve as natural antibiotics it can ward off some diseases like E. coli, avian flu, infectious bronchitis, and salmonella, etc. There are some specific application of oregano to a specific disease to cure some specific diseases. It is an uh, antioxidant, antibacterial, anti-aflotoxin. Aflotoxins are toxic substances that that were resulted from a spoilage of uh, grains corn grains, soya beans grain and so on during preparation of our feed. So this oregano oil or extra oil extract can ease it. Now other one it can also serve as an anti ocosidia anti cosidia that prevents cosidiosis when it is added in five hundred part per million or zero point zero five percent of the chicken feed. Okay, this part that is used in this oregano is the oil extract. Oil extract is more effective, more potent than compared to the leave me extract or leave me powder of this herbs. So most of the parts used in this herbs are the oil extracts. Oil extract is quite difficult to extract to prepare, but in commercially they use oil extract. Why you can just cut some and give them to your feed. So in applying to feed commercially, you add 500 parts per million. That is zero point, the feed, 0.05% of the feed should, should be mixed sweet. should be oregano oil extract. So a very little amount, it is very potent. So 0.05% of the feed should be uh, oregano extract. If you want to use it to prevent coccidiosis in your chickens you can also serve as they can also prevent ascites in your chicken whereby those diseases that when you see your chicken have some in the crop solo crop a lot of water and feed smelling fermented feed on the crop inside the crops so that is called ascite you can also cure ascite as well oregano oil as well then there's some dosage if you want to increase egg quality you add 80 to 150 part per million that is 0.008 percent of this extract to your chicken diet you want to improve air quality then for broiler weight gain you use 300 to 600 milligrams per kg of feed to improve broiler weight gain but this is where i come to the end of this video if you find this video helpful please hit the subscribe button share and like see you on my next video sam is at bye bye